I'm Laura from Confidence Learning Services, and I'm here to talk to you about Spanish pronunciation. Spanish is a relatively easy language to read because its alphabet is much more phonetic than the English alphabet. That said, English speakers can struggle with Spanish pronunciation occasionally, so here are some tips. Use a website like SpanishDict.com. It allows you to enter a word and listen to the correct pronunciation. Listen to that pronunciation several times and try to become familiar with it. Practice pronouncing the word several times. An accent is a habit. It requires practice. You may know how to pronounce a word correctly, but to do so regularly requires practice. Record yourself pronouncing words, phrases, and sentences, and in regular speech. Listen to yourself and see if you can notice any differences between your pronunciation and the standard. The English alphabet and the Spanish alphabet look the same, but the letters do not always make the same sounds. Here are a few troublemakers. The Spanish letter J makes the same sound as the English letter H, as in words like jarra and ojo. Two L's in Spanish make the same sound as an English Y, ya, ya, as in words like tortilla, ellos, llover. The Spanish letter R does not sound at all like the English letter R. It's much more similar to a short, fast English letter D, ra, 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 as in words like pera and amarillo. Two R's in Spanish are a rolled R, rrr. We don't have this sound in English, but if you have trouble pronouncing it, don't be nervous. Just relax your tongue and try your best that's when you'll be able to pronounce it the best. The letter G in Spanish and in English has two sounds, a hard sound and a soft sound. In English, those sounds are G and J. In Spanish, the sounds for the letter G are G and J, as in words like grande, ángel, and Gigante. Any time we would pronounce the letter G with a J sound in English, it will be pronounced with a H sound in Spanish. The letter H is silent. You never saw this letter. The letter Ñ is the only letter that the Spanish have as an additional letter in their alphabet. And it makes the same sound as the N sound in the English word onion. Nya, nya. It's found in words like año and soñar. The letters Q and U always go together in English and Spanish, but they make very different sounds. In English, Q and U make a qua sound, but in Spanish, they simply make a k sound, as in words like quesadilla and quemar. Now that you've learned these rules, try pronouncing the following sentence correctly. Cuando llovió, había dos arañas gigantes corriendo en el piso en la casa de Julio. Cuando llovió, había dos arañas gigantes Corriendo en el piso en la casa de Julio. Did you hear all of the sounds that we covered? If you still have difficulty with Spanish pronunciation or want to continue to improve your Spanish abilities, visit our website, confidencelearningservices.com.